And from a spaceship, Earth is definitely the blue planet. And pretty much everywhere that there's water, there's diatoms. There are trillions of them in every ocean. And they can't all rely on flying rivers. So diatoms around the world have to get their nutrients in different ways. Some about as far away from tropical rainforests as you can get. Sometimes they move 300 times faster than their normal glacial pace. Heidi can hear them crushing a huge amount of rock as they grind their way down the valley. And when ice meets sea, it makes a familiar sound. Ça ressemble au son des Rice Krispies. Le son des bulles d'air qui s'échappent de la glace pendant que la glace fond sous l'eau. The popping is a heads up for the team. The ice face is about to crash. J'entends de plus en plus d'activité là. Vous devez rentrer, OK? Et un seul peut décharger des milliers de tonnes de glace dans la mer. Et toute cette poudre de roche, c'est de la nourriture parfaite pour les diatomées. Diatom dinner time. Now, sometimes these glaciers move really fast, dumping tons and tons of nutrients into the sea. Boom! Sparking a feeding frenzy and a population explosion. But then, just as quickly as it started, dinner time is over. The glaciers come to a grinding halt and lie dormant, sometimes for decades. Boom becomes bust. When the nutrients run out, the blooms fade and most of the diatoms die. Their carcasses slowly fall to the ocean floor, where they carpet it in a layer half a mile thick. We call it marine snow, and that's exactly what it looks like. Snowflakes. But unlike snowflakes, they never melt. And over millions of years, the seabeds rise the ocean levels fall, and the ocean floor becomes a salty desert. The desert that blows all the way to the Amazon, that was once a seabed. And the dust 
that makes the rainforest grow? Diatom shells. It just goes to show how incredibly interlinked everything is. There is absolutely nothing on one side of the planet that isn't connected in some way with the other side of the planet. It's astounding how all the systems down there must work together in order for us to breathe.